the Attack 2 kit. USP Standard 797 mandates proper training and validation of the technique of all persons compounding CSPs prior to their engaging in actual compounding activities. Many non-pharmacy personnel, such as nurses, emergency medical technicians, and medication technicians are called upon to compound USP low-risk CSPs. The ATT&CK-2 kit is provided for the testing and validation of the compounding technique of these personnel and pharmacy operatives engaged only in USP low-risk compounding. Following an adequate period of training and practice, the aseptic technique of the non-pharmacy candidate should be challenged under conditions which are representative of normal non-pharmacy compounding operations. Engineering and barrier controls should be employed only to the extent that such controls are used by the candidate during his or her actual compounding operations. Step 1. Review the audiovisual program. Using the fully authored DVD program format, an abbreviated AV program presentation is recommended for viewing by non-pharmacy compounding personnel. This program familiarizes the non-pharmacy candidate with the essentials of quality assurance, barrier controls, aseptic manipulations, and calculations to reinforce the compounding skills of these personnel. Step 2. Administer the written test. Following a review of the AV program and successful completion of an adequate period of supervised practice, the ATT&CK-2 written test component is administered. Three identical written tests are contained in the package insert. The correct answers are available to authorized personnel directly from lab safety by fax or email request. This is done to secure the answers and prevent their dissemination by unauthorized personnel. A minimum grade of 90% is required for successful completion of the written test. Results of the test should then be entered in the candidate's ITDR, along with the appropriate suspense date for annual retesting. Step 3. Administer the practical media fill exercise. As in the RL2 USP medium risk challenge, this practical test demonstrates the candidate's ability to accurately compound a USP low risk CSP without compromising the sterility of the product. Validation of the candidate in the correct compounding techniques is carried out under the direct supervision of the pharmacy preceptor under definable worst case conditions. These conditions should be defined and entered into the information sheet included in the ATT&CK-2 package insert. As in pharmacy, the initial validation should be performed in triplicate when the candidate is most tired or stressed. This will normally occur at the end of the shift. The following is a recommended six-step process for demonstration of competency in USP low-risk compounding. First, have the candidate read the instruction sheet enclosed in the package insert. Direct the candidate to select the proper compounding tools for the task. Using the normal staging and setup sequence, the candidate should select and place the following materials onto the critical work surface in preparation for the media fill exercise. The VM30T, the VM20R, the VM10DA, one 50 ml bag or bottle of normal saline for injection, the following syringes, five 5 ml, two 10 ml, and 130 ml, a filter needle, eight 18 or higher gauge needles, and 10 alcohol swabs. As in the USP medium risk challenge, for a more exacting challenge of the operative skill, a compound strength may be assigned to each of the additive containers to verify the candidate's ability to calculate the proper volumes for all additives. Step 1. Fill out the VM30T vial label, the three syringe labels, and the final container label. Affix the label to the final container. Step 2. Withdraw 30 ml of normal saline from the final container and reconstitute the VM20R with 20 ml of the solution. Discard the remainder. Step 3. 
withdraw two each 5 ml doses, one each 10 ml dose, from the reconstituted VM20R, and add to the final container. Note that the final container will now contain 40 mLs of diluted tripsoy broth and the VM20R will be empty. Step 4. Prepare 3 each 5 ml syringes from the final container produced in Step 3 and affix the prepared syringe labels. Step 5. Open the VM10DA ampule and withdraw 10 mLs. Change to the filter needle and add to the VM30T. Collect the final container along with the three syringes and the VM30T test file and incubate in the manner of the USP medium risk challenge. On occasion, the overall contamination rate of CSPs prepared by non-pharmacy personnel may exceed acceptable levels. The ATT2 information sheet contained in the package insert is designed to assure that information concerning the circumstances of each validation is available to the Director of Pharmacy should the Director need to institute non-pharmacy compounding procedural changes. Properly completed, the information sheet is designed to provide specific information on the environmental, work area preparation, hand and glove preparation, critical site disinfection, ampule handling, and general manipulative technique factors which are necessary to support the recommended corrective actions in discussions with nursing, emergency medicine, and other departments.